If today's turnout is any indication, Vancouver's version of the anti-Wall Street movement will be a big one. Hundreds came out for a strategy meeting ahead of next Saturday's Occupy Vancouver campaign. The plan is for people to set up camp to protest poverty, unemployment and corruption. As John Woodward reports, the protest could last a while and business owners have been warned to prepare themselves. This is not a rally. This is the meeting to create a rally. What we're trying to do is just get people to unite their ideas and come up with new ones together. But just that was enough to bring hundreds of people to the Woodward's building this afternoon. There were regular Vancouver activists, but there were also newcomers. Jason Wetstein brought his daughter, Ava. I got a kid, five years old. Ava, right? This, this right here is the best reason to change the system, right? Because if we don't change it now, it's not going to get better. We have peacefully assembled here, as is our right, to let these facts be known. It was standing room only inside, so everyone moved to the Woodward's atrium to accommodate the large and varied crowd. I had a guy sleeping in my bag machine, bought him breakfast this morning, told him to come camp out here because, you know what, it's just as much his fight too. It's been three weeks since protesters first occupied Wall Street in New York. The movement has swept across cities in the United States. People are complaining they are left behind while corporations get richer and their governments aren't protecting them. It's time for the people to wake up and realize that we still have power. Right. We've got power. Yes. And we can take back our power from these greedy politicians and these corporations. On Saturday, protesters here plan to take over the art gallery lawn. They could stay there for weeks. Protesters say it will be peaceful, but there have been arrests in some American cities. And it won't be business as usual. The size is worrying downtown businesses who remember the last major downtown Vancouver gathering, the Stanley Cup riot. We don't expect anything to go wrong, but unfortunately there could be a criminal element to this that take advantage of the fact that there's large crowds of people in the downtown area at that time. Businesses are taking precautions, some removing items that could be used as projectiles. It does raise some concern, however, I have every confidence that everyone's going to stick to that whole peaceful protest thing. Those people are definitely here to bring better consciousness to making a better world and not breaking a window. We've had conversations, preliminary discussions with some self-identified organizers. That's really helpful in our planning process. Um, we want this to turn out to be a legal and peaceful process. And if Organizers have been coordinating with police. They want this to be part of a large-scale change. And the protest next weekend seems geared to be on a large scale. If there are this many people at the meeting, imagine how large the protest could be. John Woodward, CTV News, Vancouver.